I'm Holly from Easy Mind, Easy Life. Now, talking about judgment. We were talking about judging and criticizing and remember I said to you in the last video, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> it's not right and it's not wrong. Here's another one for you. I was remembering today, one of the most traumatic moments for me in my childhood, right? As a girl, I turned 12 and I got my periods and I didn't know what they were, right? So there I am in the bathroom and I'm bleeding from a spot I'm not supposed to be bleeding from. And the year before, I had had my appendix out. So I instantly thought, oh, something's gone wrong with the operation and now I'm bleeding internally and I'm going to die, right? This, this was my immediate thought. And so I'm in the bathroom crying, thinking I'm going to die, I'm going to die, right? <laughs> and I was in there for ages until my aunt, because we were visiting relatives overseas, she knocked on my door, on the door of the bathroom, and she said, are you okay in there? And I, I couldn't talk to her, I was so distressed. And she said, can I come in? And I said, yes. Anyway, so she came in and, uh, and I started explaining to her, you know, what had happened. And then she said to me, I'll call your mum. <laughs> so mum came in and then my mum decides to explain to me what was happening, right? When it's happening, after I'd been in the bathroom for an hour traumatized, right? that I was bleeding and I was dying. So I always said to myself, because I found that moment so traumatic in my childhood, I said to myself, I would never, ever, ever do that to my children, right? No matter what, they were always going to know what was going to happen to them, right? If, especially if it's a natural thing like periods, right? For a girl. So we had a girl. And I've honestly, I've been talking to her about them since she was about five. Um, and I've shown her the packs of pads, you know, and things like that. And sometimes I'm walking with the pad to put in the, you know, in the bin, the one that's already used up. And she'll ask me, what's that? And I'll explain to her and I'll go through it again that once a month we bleed and it's natural and blah, blah, right? So I make it like it's nothing. But then the funniest thing happened. When was it? Um, she hasn't had them yet, but she came to me a few weeks ago, actually. Uh, because what happened was I thought well she's at that age right I got them at 12 and she's 11 now so I made her a little pack right with the pads and all that sort of thing and I thought she's gonna be 12 and she'll still be in school so I wanted her to be prepared right and if it came at school and not at home at least have a pack have something that she could put on right so I talked her through it and then we practiced opening them up, you know, and putting them on, like sticking them on and I'm teaching her not to stick the sticky bit that goes onto the undies because <laughs> one of my cousins did that. <laughs> she peeled off the, the bit, right, that's supposed to stick onto your undies and she actually put it the wrong way around and then she had to peel it off and that was very uncomfortable. Anyway, um, just all these funny stories of things that happen to us when we don't have the information right <laughs> so you know when our parents don't give us the information because like I said anything to do with sex and that included periods was a no conversation zone with my parents right so even that day when my mum had to explain the uh the periods to me when I was bleeding in the bathroom crying she really struggled to explain it and to be honest i would have preferred my dad would have walked in to explain it to me i would have felt much more at ease than my mum talking about something that she was super uncomfortable talking about <laughs> so anyway <laughs> i got through it but then a few weeks ago right she comes up to me my daughter came up to me and she says to me mum and i said what happened and she says i'm scared and i said what what of she says no i'm really really scared and I said, to what happened, darling? Did something happen? And she said, no. She said, this thing with the periods, she says, I don't know what it is. You know, I, I don't know what to, I think what she was trying to say was that she doesn't know what to expect when it comes, right? And, uh, and I said to her, but darling, it's natural. It's all right. You'll be all right when it happens. So I'm trying to, you know, talk her through it. And then I realized, you know, I realized through that conversation with her that some things need to happen. They just happen that way naturally. There's no avoiding it or making it better. That fear when you have your first period will happen whether you know about it or you don't. 
So all those years of judging that it was so bad, it was so wrong what they did to me, that they didn't tell me that this was gonna happen, all of that. Just a few weeks ago when my daughter came up to me, I just had this massive realization that, oh, it doesn't matter. She's still gonna be afraid, you know, because she doesn't know what to expect. And because you're talking about bloods coming out of there, you know, to her, she could be imagining it's like buck imagining it's buckets of blood coming out, you know? I don't know. But um yeah, there's been a few things like that. When I was young, uh, I was quite afraid of being in my own room, going to sleep by myself, right? So I made sure that with her, even though she's in her own room by herself, I always stay with her until she falls asleep and then I'll go to bed. Like I make sure she's asleep first and I'm, I'm with her while she's going to sleep so she doesn't feel alone. And then one day she came up to me, same thing. She said to me, Mummy, I'm, I'm afraid of being in my bedroom by myself. And I said to her, but I'm with you until you fall asleep. And she said, but I'm still, I don't like being in there by myself. She said, I'm still afraid. So I thought, oh, <laughs> again, you know, all this judgment about I didn't like being by myself and I was left in this room all by myself. <laughs> and here I was. And she's saying to me the same thing, even though I've got to all this effort to make sure that she's not by herself when she goes to sleep. Oh. So there it is, you know? It's like it comes full circle. It's like the lessons come back to show you that it's going to happen anyway. It's going to happen anyway. It's going to happen anyway because that's what she needs to experience in this lifetime. Before, it was what I needed to experience in this lifetime. But now, it's what she needs to experience in this lifetime. And no matter what I do, no matter what I don't do, it's not going to change the fact that it's her journey. And whatever it is that she needs to experience, she will. Regardless. That's the truth. So, where do I put judgment now? I'll put it back in my pocket. <laughs> it's got no use at all. <laughs> oh, judgment and criticism. My poor parents. You know, until you go through it yourself, you don't realize, oh, it's just, it's all this, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's going to happen regardless. You can't avoid it. You can't, you know? So, yeah. Isn't that funny? All right, my darlings. So yeah, I'd be interested in the comments to hear from you if you've had experiences like that, you know, where you've judged and criticized that it was bad or it was wrong. And then you realize with time, eh, it was going to happen anyway. It didn't matter. It was part of the experience. <laughs> All good. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.